you very much, Francesco. I'm very honored to have been uh, invited and uh, also because uh, the organizers have picked Francesco to introduce me, so it's a double honor. Um, and uh, yes, I have uh, proposed a topic which is uh, sort of intra-European economic policy divergences in Europe and their cultural roots. But to pay tribute that uh, this is, of course, the International Atlantic Economic Conference, I thought I should start uh, with an anecdote, which is uh, transatlantic. Uh, and uh, I must say, and this anecdote uh, as uh, the starting point will reveal to you that I'm rather um, ignorantly approaching the topic, uh, far from being uh, a specific and close follower to the uh, largely uh, Italian school of economists that Francesco mentioned uh, investigating the role of culture in <coughs> shaping economic policies. Uh, the anecdote is that uh, when I, uh, during the time I was prime minister, uh, I was, uh, as it happens sooner or later to prime ministers, I was invited uh, uh, by uh, President Obama to uh, go and see him in Washington. Uh, but the curious thing was that uh, well before my trip, the U.S. ambassador to Italy came to me to describe the scenario of the conversation with the president. And he said to me, don't be surprised if he will not begin the conversation talking about uh, the Eurozone or Italy, because he has a more specific question for you. He will ask you, how does one should how should one approach Chancellor Merkel on economic policy issues? <laughs> and loyal to the script, uh, the president started the conversation with this. And presumably somebody had uh, mentioned to the White House, rightly or wrongly, I don't know, that uh, I had developed uh, over the years, but particularly during those critical months for the Eurozone and for Italy, some uh, not always easy, but constructive understanding with the German chancellor. And uh, I said to him, uh, you should be aware that for Germans, and it doesn't really matter to which political orientation they belong, for Germans, by and large, economics is still a branch of moral philosophy. And growth is uh, the product of virtues, morally speaking, economic behavior of the individual, of the household, of the firm, of the state. So I know that your advisor are uh, feeding you with uh, a lot of uh, very well analytically based uh, but desperately Anglo-Saxon um, uh, briefings uh, to persuade Germany to change tech, both in doing a better job in giving their contribution to the global demand and at that particular time doing a more understanding job within the European policy context uh, to facilitate uh, countries in southern Europe to come out of the crisis, etc. And the president was particularly interested because that was February 2012 and uh, in the summer and then in the autumn it was his electoral period, so he wanted to avoid, particularly from Italy, which was the first candidate uh, in line, uh, an eruption of the Eurozone which would have created serious problems to the global economy and also to the US. Um, and uh, I'll conclude the anecdote by saying, uh, so in my view, you will uh, never succeed uh, in a finite period of time to persuade Germans to 
reflate through deficit spending, etc., etc. Uh, but nevertheless, I believe that there is one narrow window of opportunity.